folks, this is Chris Folds, and today I'm going to be playing Test Drive 2 The Duel on the Amiga. I remember getting this game when it came out for my birthday. Um, there's one of the few games out there that used my extra disk drive at the time, so I was like really excited about that. I think on the same day I went to see Days of Thunder at the cinema, so all around classy day. Right. I have to admit I've not played this since I got back into the Amiga. All out for the presentation. No car, clock, no race. Fairly easy, I think. Based on Amigos plays, you know, we're not very good at games. Plus, I want the auto gears. And we're off. Not like other racing games like this type, um, that are around at the time. This is um, it's actually a 3D road with 2D sprites. So the same as our room if you oh, controls. <laughs> Not good. Um, yeah, I remember it being difficult on my birthday. Um, so the sprites are well sprites on a 3D road. But unlike Broom and Broom 2, which I've um, previously played, this does not move at a million miles an hour. Cinema technique was actually eventually used on Road Rash, I'm led to believe. But the Rosas, or the Fuzz, or the Pigs, or whatever what you will. I'm putting this to the police, shall we? The biggest problem with this game is that. Oh, there's many problems, but the biggest problem in my view is the lack of draw distance. Just make maneuvering around things a little tricky. This is again crying out, as you can see from the steering wheel on the dock, crying out for analog game controllers. But you know, we had, it wasn't until the N64 that they became popular. There we go, that's stage one done. You run out of gas, you missed the gas station. How you enjoy Oh yeah, you have to stop at gas. <laughs> the things you forget. Maybe I should have read the manual, folks. I don't know. I would enjoy the walk. I like walking. You gotta get your step count up. Some nice graphics there. You want to be the best and you want to beat the rest. You need to be a record breaker. Maybe a tricycle with all my speed. That's a bit rude. Overtaken a blind bend. No, oh, why not? Get over, get over, get over. Whew. That was close, folks. Nice bit of graffiti there on the side of the road. So it doesn't control too bad. Um, once you get used to it, it's a um, slightly floaty feel. Using accelerate to on a fire button and pulling back to brake. Have your feet over there. It's 
Is that tunnel we got? That's real tunnel action. Interested actually to play hard drive and maybe that just to see how that compares. So hard driving was the simulator game. Like most Amiga games of the time, um, it's just sound effects, there's no music. I really did come late into a, a lot. A lot of the demo programs really came around, I think. Nailed it. Clean run. Mm -hmm. I think I am better at this than I was back in the day, but I think two things probably help. Age. So I've got more patience, and I'm actually, because I'm running this on an emulator, using a gamepad. Sorry folks. I do have a, um, a 9 pin to USB converter, so I could... I'm always being insulting to me, huh? So I could use a real joystick, but I prefer a gamepad. Even on my real Amiga, which is next to me, I can't record on it at the moment, I use a... PS1 controller. Well, there's certain games you do have to um, go with the old joystick. Just getting the diagonals can be a bit harder on a joypad. So I think we're out in the country now with all these lovely trees. Right, they had their hands full. Oops, that's the speed, that's the radar detector. Remember that? Did the other work? I don't know. Anyway, oh. No way, copper. You ain't taking me alive. the best way to play whether it's to avoid the police chases or just well, I guess we'll go back to find out this time I'm just I'm not going to break I'm just going to keep my foot there oh whoa whoa oh <laughs> I've got a wobble on Should have gone a little harder, but I didn't want to mind your gears. Even all the racing games I play on the PC, Xbox, PS4, etc. Nowadays, oh, I still don't like doing manual gears. I know it's quick as you can hold it in the gear in the corner and blah de blah de blah de blah, but I'm going for the arcade experience, I'm not going for the simulation. Get lost, fuzz. Oh, 
Oh. Once you get a tank slap on this thing, it's hard to pull back. Oh, I just looked at the webcam. My office is a mess. Oh. It should be working right now, but I'm stuck on a particularly difficult layout issue. Because um, I do, I like mobile apps, but I do. And I thought, quick blast of a game, take my mind off things. That's what you always should do. Oh, come on. I get worse at this. Must be a beginner's luck. I got half a mile to go. Come on, come on, come on. It's going to slag me off this time three times. If you set the record box, but if you get slagged off, go faster, so you can. Starting to feel a bit samey, there's not much. Thought it would be after me. Sods, mate. My fault. Driving like a. Driving like a loony trying to escape the fuzz. Bit of crash animation would really good. I also think a whoa, whoa. Oh come on! It's not a one-hit kill game. That could have just been a little knock, a little knock. Um, I do think an external view would have been nice, just for those who want it. But credit where credit's due. They've got a working dashboard here. Revometer. Speed on P, I guess. I just can't type the gas, the lines of the gas so I'm moving. Oh, yes, they are, they are, because I saw it. Fast breeze car because just accelerated a push. <laughs> game, game over. All right, so everyone, that's um, Test Drive to the Amiga. Um, definitely worth checking out if you've never played it, and if you have played it, well, give it another go if it's been a few years like me. It can be a bit of fun. See you later.